Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to another Me and My Roku Quickie. A question that I get, uh, oh, by the way, I'm your host, Peter Clay. Hi. Uh, <laughs> follow the, uh, get the podcast, Me and My Roku, for more of this fun stuff. But now, these little quickies here, you get to see where the magic happens. It's fun stuff. Um, this is a question I get quite frequently, and that is, when is it a good time to get a new Roku or replace a Roku? And I have three tips to kind of help you uh, decide whether it's time or not. Uh, one is when the Roku itself is telling you, or apps like Netflix are saying, yeah, we're no longer doing this anymore. You need a new device. That's tip number one. Tip number two is if you look at your remote and it has things like MGO or Blockbuster, things that are no longer in existence, it might be time to think about a new Roku. And three, when is a good time to get a new Roku? Uh, when they're on sale. <laughs> and that can happen at any time. Mother's Day, 4th of July, Christmas, obviously, Black Friday, uh, any of those times. If you just feel like it's time to get a new one, it's time to get a new one. Now, when it comes time to replacing ones, I, I've had a Roku 3 uh, for almost, ugh, a long time now. I, I can't remember. <laughs> That's how long it's been. Because uh, a lot of these things seems like they're longer than they're not. Because, like I said, Disney Plus just started two years ago. Seems like uh, it's been here a while. But anyway, uh, I've only really replaced one Roku. And that was the Roku XD. The very first Roku I ever had. That's just It just couldn't do it anymore. It got too slow. Then we had this guy here, the uh, Roku LT. Uh, which we needed for an older TV that had the red, yellow, and white, uh, you know, outputs those three chords. Anywho, uh, so that went to trunk recycling. The, please you do that and don't just throw them away in the dumpster or anything. Uh, get them recycled so they can be reused for other things. And that's about it. I, I really haven't had a time, so that's maybe why I have nine devices. And I've replaced an Amazon Fire TV. So the trick is then, well, should I replace it with another Roku or should I get another device? That's up to you. In the me and my Roku here, that's why we're here, um, I typically replace a Roku with a Roku and then Amazon with Amazon. I get the other devices for the sake of the podcast just to kind of compare and contrast. I prefer the Roku, but the other ones are fine. You can't go wrong. So if you see a deal on a Chromecast, but if you want that, then get it. It's fine. You might just be coming back to the Roku. Again, also, then your TV then might have a smart device. I don't, they're all, all smart TVs now. But after about a year or two, they start to slow down or they don't update or they don't get the app that you want. Get yourself a Roku then. Get, a Roku Express is fine too. You don't have to go all out. But we have a really nice big Samsung TV. And it's beautiful. And the Tyson is fine. But we prefer the Roku. We put Roku Ultra on it. Beautiful. It you know still uses all the beauty of the TV in it. That's up to you. So that's just a little tip of replacing a Roku. One, when Netflix says, no, we're not doing this anymore. Two, uh, outdated uh, buttons on your remote. Three, when they're on sale. Or four, whenever you want. You do your Roku the way you do your Roku. And I hope you are enjoying you and your Roku. As much as I'm enjoying me and my Roku, I'll be back with you real soon.